Hi guys, welcome to Weekend Movie Channel, and these are 10 good thrillers you might have missed. You have already seen some of them for sure, but we think everyone will find something new to watch. Write in the comments what other interesting thrillers you know. We'll be happy to review your comments and maybe something will be useful for the next tops. Stoker. A terrible event happened in the family of India. Right on the day of her coming of age, under mysterious circumstances, her father dies in a car accident. During the funeral, she unexpectedly finds out of the existence of Uncle Charlie, who soon settles in her mother's house. The young man simply charms women who are drawn to him. However, India feels that something is wrong with Charlie, and some kind of danger comes from him. This film was directed by Park Chan-wook, who gained international fame after the film Old Boy. The script was written by Wentworth Miller, known to the world for his role as Michael Scottfield in the TV series Prison Break. Both later say that it was filmed under the impression of Hitchcock's movies, in particular the thriller Shadow of a Doubt. Critics reviewed the movie quite warmly, but at the box office it didn't live up to expectations. However, the movie has quite good ratings on the movie resources. 10th place. Stoker. Thirteen Sins. Elliot Brindle is a loser drowning in debt. One day the phone rings and the guy is made an unusual proposal. He is offered to become a member of an incredible TV show. The conditions are simple. Complete 13 tasks, no matter how strange they might be. At stake is a cash price, the amount of which increases with the each completed task. Elliot follows the first instructions and eats the fly. Soon Elliot is willing but unable to stop the game. And the challenges become more dangerous and the point of no return will soon be passed. The movie is a free remake of the Thai thriller called 13 and the remake was a success. There is a strong script, confident acting and excellent dynamics. The film, of course, can be called masterpiece, but it's definitely an interesting and intelligent movie, which you will not regret watching. Ninth place, 13 Sins. The River Wild. Gail and Tom are on the brink of divorce. To resurrect the marriage, they decide to take a family trip down the river. The local waiters are familiar to Gail since childhood, and she is happy to return to her native places. And in some places the river can be quite stormy. People who are nearby begin to pose a greater danger. A good film, which was well publicized by the invitation of Meryl Streep to play the lead role. It turned out to be an interesting, fascinating thriller, which doubles the budget of the global box office. The movie is really exciting. There are a lot of tense scenes, and there are also elements of adventure cinema. Eighth place. The River Wild. Disturbia. Kale is a teenager struggling with the death of his father in a car accident. Once in class, he takes out his anger at the Spanish teacher, for which the court sentences Kale to the three months of house arrest. Fighting boredom, the guy begins to spy on his neighbors and soon begin to suspect that one of them is a serial killer. The youth tracing paper from Hitchcock's real window came out decent, sometimes even frightening, especially if you take into account that the main viewers of the movie should be high school students. The film cleverly alternates several genres – drama, comedy, thriller and even slasher. The story doesn't sag or get bored. This is quite an exemplary teen thriller – light, fast, funny and tense just as much as a film in which everything is clear in advance can keep in suspense. 7th place. Distorbia. Vacancy. Night, deserted highway. In a car is a married couple who survived a tragedy in the past and now are on the verge of divorce. To cut off, they drive off the main road, but after a while, they realize that they are lost. Once on some abandoned highway, exhausted, they stumble upon an unsightly motel, where the main action of the movie unfolds. This is a simple but really gripping thriller, which will not surprise with a rich story but will definitely tickle the nerve of fans of such movies. And there are some awkward moments here, but in general this is a good thriller that is worth of watching. Sixth place, Vacancy. All the money in the world. In 1973, Italian gangsters kidnapped 16-year-old Paul in Rome, the grandson of the richest man in the world. 
the perpetrators are demanding a $17 million ransom, a modest amount by the standards of his grandpa Paul Getty, who made his fortune in Arabian oil. However, the billionaire is famous for his stinginess, and he doesn't give up his principles even for the sake of his grandson. Getty publicly announced that he will not pay the kidnappers a penny. Instead, he sends his security expert to Rome, who tries to find the kidnapped grandson and provide moral support to his mother Gail. A crime thriller based on one of the biggest scandals of the 20th century. The strong side of the movie is just the story underlying it, which is terrible in itself and talks about how big money spoils people and turns their life into a series of difficulties. Fifth place. All the money in the world. A history of violence. Two bandits travel across the American province. One day they got into a quiet town of Millbrook. Tom Stoll lives in this city, a respected owner of a small diner, and his family, his wife and two children. Tom's quiet life will end when two bandits enter his cafe at night. The film combines two genres, gangster movie and family drama. There are a few action scenes, but for the most part, the film moves at a calm pace, showing changes in relationships with the protagonist's family, as well as gradually revealing the main story. Nevertheless, the movie is interesting, and the thriller genre is fully justified here. It's definitely worthy of attention, and it was quite successful at the box office in North America, but is still not so famous in many other countries. Fourth place. A history of violence. Good Time, an action-packed crime thriller about two brothers, Kenny and Nick. Nick is mentally handicapped and Kenny takes care of him. Their life goes below the poverty line. At some point, Kenny decides to rob a bank. He also takes his brother to work. However, as it happens, something goes wrong and then a crazy criminal trip begins. Easily dragging a viewer into a whirlwind of incidents are not letting go until the final credits. The events of the film fit into just one night. The movie is really original and it's simply impossible to predict what will happen next. This is a chic representative of an independent cinema in which Robert Pattinson playing one of the best roles in an exciting neo-noir thriller with excellent color production and a brilliant soundtrack, for which the film was even awarded the Palm d'Or. Third place. Good time. Breakdown. Jeff and Amy Taylor drive from Boston to San Diego in their expensive brand new car, following a desert road in the US West. At one point, their engine stalls. A truck passes by, and a driver offers to give them a lift to the nearest cafe further down the road so they can call for help. However, Jeff decides that only his wife should go, and he will remain to guard the car. From this moment on, the life of protagonists turned into a nightmare. This is a classic thriller, very simple, but very high quality. The movie is not morally outdated, and today it still plays on the audience nerves with tense pauses and exciting chases. Actions are developing rapidly and looks so realistic. All this doesn't let you tear yourself away from the screen until the very end. Second place. Breakdown. The Gift Sales representative Simon and his wife Robin moves from Chicago to California to start a new life in new location. As a teenager, Simon went to a California school and shortly after moving in, he bumps into his former classmate. In school, they were not friends, and Simon doesn't burn with the desire to communicate with Gordo, but he imposes himself on a visit and begins to make nice gifts for the new settlers. However, the longer their relationship continues, the more clearly the spouses realize that they need to stay away from Gordo. At first glance, judging by the opening and trailer shots, it seems that this film is a slasher, but in reality, it turns out to be much more subtle psychological thriller. Here, more attention is paid to the image of the main characters, their relationships and gradual disclosure. Instead of chases and shootings, the bet is on the atmosphere and forcing a scene of anxiety. First place. The gift. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.